Hey everybody, here we are for another Kingdom Death Monster build. We're going to build the White Lion now so that we can get going with some gameplay content. Uh, the White Lion looks like it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It looks like it has, has about 11 pieces. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the biggest pieces, the torsos. All right, to speed the videos up just a little bit, I'm not going to talk too much about, uh, uh, you know, shaving off pieces and whatnot. Uh, this is obviously a pretty easy build for the torso. The two halves of the torso go together. Haha, done. Easy peasy. We just have to glue those. Yikes. Uh, so let's go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. With some plastic cement. So the fact that we have to go all the way around the outside does show you that like the drying time on this is not, you know, instantaneous. We have time to do glue all around the outside and they'll still go together. The plastic stays melted for a decent bit. So there we go. So we should be able to push this together and it was already a pretty tight connection just by friction, but with the glue, that should set pretty well. That's going to give us the start of the lion. We're going to have to glue in the face, obviously, and arms and tails and etc. But that's the first step. Up next, let's get the face going. The face is in two halves. We've got the top half of the face. And the bottom half of the face, or the jaw, I suppose. All right, so we've got the top half, half of the face, which has a nice long peg here, which is going to go in there. It's actually very tight already. Uh, I did shave off some of the plastic, um, but hopefully the glue helps this go in just a little bit better. Uh, I do know the face of the white lion is one of the most common... Uh, very large seams that you definitely want to fill in with some green stuff or some milliput or something. So let's see how little of a seam we can get to start before we have to look into filling that seam before we go to paint it. So glued up, in goes the face. I should have tested, can I get the lower jaw in as well? with the upper face in and no I can't so let's quickly quickly solve our problems by pulling that face out that's why you dry fit all pieces first so we'll let that sit and let that glue dry a little bit while we get the lower jaw in first always good to catch mistakes show them on camera show how to recover from mistakes So let's glue up the lower jaw. Place it in. It goes in very nice and easily in there. So we've got the lower jaw in. Next to no seam on that. Now we can re-glue the top of the face. sure that glue is still melty. And now we can shove it in. Push as hard as we can. The glue will help us out a bit. And there we have a face and you can definitely see that seam. And I've seen this seam in basically every white lion build that I've seen. It's the most common one. Um, so what you'll get is milliput or green stuff, which is an epoxy that you can mix up and it's kind of like a putty and you just get a very tiny amount and you just kind of push it in with a bit of a tool or tweezers or whatever. It'll flatten out a little bit. It'll look ugly as hell, but then you paint over it and then you don't even notice. But yeah, clear seam, but that was to be expected again on the table. It's not the, uh, 
the most obvious thing, but it is the most obvious seam I think we've seen so far. All right, so up next, let's do the front legs. We've got this front leg, which has a hand already attached. Notice I said hand. If you're not familiar with Kingdom of Death Monster, be prepared for weird monsters. Said I wasn't going to show off cutting off bits on camera, but so be it. Uh, so there's the first one, which pretty easily, pretty nicely goes in there. Again, kind of seems. Um, we'll see what I do with that when we get around to it. Uh, and in fact, I might just glue this one in because it's so e easy and obvious right now. Uh, because we are going to have to assemble the other arms because uh, none of them have hands on them yet. We're going to have to do the fun part where we have to get the hand and match the hand to the leg and then go from there. So we glue up that leg. We pop that leg in. Obviously much easier building uh, at least this monster with these large chunky pieces as to building the survivors where we were gluing an individual hand holding a stone on. All right, so we can let that sit. Well, we find the uh, the arms and hands for the other one. So I believe this is the other front leg. And then this large, strange hand would be the front hand. And sure enough, if we take a look at them, they've got a step out cut. And uh, they fit in exactly the way that they should. If the camera would focus, there we go. So yeah, pretty easy peasy. In like so. So we can glue these up and uh, get this leg assembled. And then we'll let this leg sit before we pop it into the lion. We pop that in. And if you get it in the right spot, whoops. Sometimes happens when you're pushing too hard with no backstop. So I'm pushing, I'm trying to push uh, from this side to this side because there's that backstop of plastic there to uh, kind of take the force. I was pushing front to back, which means the piece just slid uncontrollably. But if you push and you've got the glue on and you've got it in just the right spot, the seam almost disappears. There's no gap, really. You can see the excess plastic a bit. See the excess plastic just a little bit, but the seam, especially as you get further and further away, more at table distance, is almost non-existent. And so there's the other front leg. Uh, when we glue that in, and actually, I guess we can probably glue that in now. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's not the front leg. Oh, no, it is. It is. Obviously, there's a, a weird gap when looking at it from the bottom. But how often are you going to be looking at the lion this way? You're going to be looking at the lion this way or this way or this way or this way, but not that way. All right. So let's just glue that in. We don't need to uh, let this sit. No, actually, maybe I was missing. There's a, a nice little snap there. And now the uh, the gap on the bottom is not as obvious. And again, minor seam. We can fill it in if we need to. There's a chance the primer, uh, when we put the primer paint on, will be enough to fill that in. We can always see what it looks like after we prime it, when we get around to painting it. Um, but there's the start of the front of the lion. We just got the back two legs now. So let's cut off the hind quarter legs. And we've got the hindquarter feet. We'll have to figure out which foot is for which. You can see, uh, hopefully, that they're actually reverse cut. 
So one has the higher edge on the back and one has the higher edge on the front. So you can pretty easily match up which leg each hand goes to. And that doesn't quite leave us done. We're also going to need this tail. That should have us done with this. The remaining pieces are for the butcher. We don't need him for a while. All right, so we've got one of the hind legs. Uh, obviously, I forgot that the legs could go two different ways, meaning that it takes a little bit of work to match up which feet go with which legs, but which luckily the feet are different lengths as well. So that goes on there like so, so we can flood that with glue. Cement, I'm just going to keep saying glue. And that's going to give us that again, thanks to the glue. The seam will go away just a little bit more than it would otherwise. So we just snap the whole thing off. Again, try to push plastic to pl plastic so that you don't end up just ripping the whole thing apart. in just a little bit more and that looks pretty in line where it should be i'm going to set that over to the side well we do the next leg which i've not actually tested yet but should go together and in fact it does um, but again just a good little piece of advice here it's not going together perfectly at the back and that's because there is uh there we go, some excess plastic from the sprue. Uh, that should be pretty level there, and it is not. So we can take this knife and just kind of slice off the extra bit there, flatten out the whole shebang. And that should allow it to fit much better. And hey, look at that, it does. It does, it does, it does. All right. So let's flood that with glue. And uh, hey, this model went a lot faster than the survivors did, eh? I guess I was talking a lot less. I was showing off um, a lot less steps. And this was also one mini instead of four minis. But we pop that in there. And there we go. We've got that leg done. So now these two legs are going to go on the back side of the lion here. They don't have nice snapping bits. But you can kind of tell when they're where they should be when they're level enough. Um, so we will work on gluing this first one while the other one sets just a little bit longer. Looks like all we got to do is flood with glue. Try to get all the bits that it's going to touch, which can sometimes be hard to predict exactly, but you always have a little bit of extra time. Um, so and again I had to oop. I said your skin doesn't stick to it my skin did briefly start to stick to it there but again it's not operating in the same way that a normal adhesive would. I am having problems keeping that in the right spot. There we go.
There we go. That feels like it's kind of in the right spot. So now the second leg is going to go on here, which is going to leave a spot for the tail. And other anatomy is created. <laughs> uh, it does look like it's leaving a bit of a gap. But I think the glue will solve that. So let's glue this up. And glue up where we're going to stick it, which is going to include part of the other leg. Glue on there. There we go. So we pop that in, get it lined up. Going to need to hold this one for just a little bit. Uh, it is having some issues where if I let go, it wants to create a bit more of a gap. And again, we've got a bit of a seam on the back there. Uh, hopefully, if we're lucky when we go to paint it, the primer will just fill that in. And if not, we can fill it in with green stuff, milliput, etc. So now we just have to do the tail. So the tail is pretty easy. You put the tail shaped piece in the tail shaped hole. Tail shaped piece in the tail shaped hole. And there we go. That is a white lion done. Got the white lion with its strange hands and its healthy gonads, which are, of course, a resource that you can get by punching them off and taking them back to your settlement. Now, like the survivors, we have a base, although we don't have a face one. These are the uh, the sort of rough texture uh, bases that you have access to. I'm not going to go through gluing it on. It's pretty straightforward. You glue the feet, stick it on. And then you've got your base. But yeah, that's the model. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully it helped out if you yourself are building uh, at all. Let me know if you enjoyed it, if you liked watching it, if you want to see more of these build videos. Uh, probably will be a little bit until we get the next one. I won't have to build anything until we build the Butcher uh, when we get to it. And hopefully one of the next videos you see on Kingdom Death Monster will be gameplay focused. Uh, but yeah, let me know anything you want to let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, see you all next time.